So in Belize, there was some crazy stuff hanging out right at the end of the pier, right where we were staying. And some of this may be a little bit embarrassing. I got a little bit excited on some of it. First time throwing a line in Belize. We did walk out to this pier a couple times and we saw some crazy stuff. We saw, we're pretty sure we saw a tarpon out there. Uh, there's always bonefish around this pier, tons of huge stingrays, and we even saw a freaking lionfish. Okay, let's catch an easy tarpon out here. It should be pretty easy, I think. Wish I had fluorocarbon, but we're using mono. Pretty sure, pretty sure floral would be a better choice for these spooky fish. What do you guys think? Bonefish and tarpon, man. Y'all know I'm an expert on both. Oh, there's something right there. That was a bigger fish. So the first thing I decided to throw on was the DOA shrimp. This clear water, it's the most realistic lure I had. So I did manage to spot the tarpon. Uh, there was one swimming around and we just kept casting at it, casting at it. It showed some interest, but it would just not commit to the DOA shrimp. You see it? But then I remembered some secret tarpon information. I met this guy at the Port Aransas jetties and he was talking about tarpon bob who's renowned around those parts for catching tarpon. And he said that he used a mirror lure mirrodine. So I had one in my box. That's what I was gonna use to catch the tarpon. Unfortunately, when I threw the mirror lure on, the same thing happened. The tarpon would look at it. Sometimes they followed it pretty close. I thought it was gonna be a strike, but they ended up turning away. But for the most part, it seemed like they didn't wanna come up to the mirror lure and go get it. And thus, I created a plan. I'm just gonna let it go to the bottom until he comes by. The trap is set. I don't know where it is though. Oh, it's right in front of him. Oh! Damn, I got him! I got him! Cooper, you're the man. Turn your camera on, man. It's on, it's on. Freaking Tarpon! Wow, Cooper, you're fucking awesome. Dude, the plan! Shit, he's going to the... Cooper, you are awesome. Dude, dude how, about the, how about that plan? What a plan. The oh, fuck! Oh. He spit it, though. I still have it. Dang it! That was sick, though. <laughs> Alright, I've had enough of this not catching fish business. We're waking up early on the day that I'm leaving. We have to catch this tarpon. Or something. Hopefully something. I don't know. We'll see. Sun's already coming out 440 freaking 5. They need to fix their time zones around here. Nope. So this was after my flats fish. fishing, bone fishing trip. No so at this point, I'm pretty much a bone fishing expert. And what I found out is that to catch these bonefish, you need to throw something small because they have those small downward facing mouths. And this is what I decided to throw. It was just this tiny little swim bait that I actually got. It was either in Mystery Tackle Box or Lucky Tackle Box, but this is the smallest thing I had. And I was just hoping that it would work. <laughs> There's a guy. Oh shit. There you go. Bone fishing as easy as that. Perfect release too. Dang it, I wanted to hold that guy up. One of the most widely regarded fish right there. <laughs> okay, we're good. Whoa, Jesus. Holy cow! Oh, 
we're gonna go under. Yeah, he's on the roll. Hopefully there's no stingrays. Oh, he's wrapped. That's the big one right there. There we go, man. The freaking strongest guy of all time. That made it worth it right there. Last guy of the fishing trip. <laughs> See you, buddy. Holy cow. Golly, man. I didn't think it... Those other ones do not fight like that. I'm not on loose drag either. Little, look at this little freaking ugly thing, man. I got these in Lucky Tackle Box. I knew they would be good for something. I actually use them when they're, I actually like these when there's little trout feeding on little tiny minnows. And apparently it's pretty good for bonefish too.